Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with a new video on Illusion Connect. Now in today's video, we're going to be testing or doing a review slash showcase on the brand new Battle Pass character that we got a while ago, which is Luna. We're going to be taking a look at his skills, checking him out in every different game mode in this game, seeing whether or not he's a must-have character, whether or not you guys regret not buying the Battle Pass for him, or seeing if he's worthy of being in your team. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on Illusion Connect. At 3k subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway, so definitely stay tuned for that. Okay, let's get right into the video. Before I do the showcase, I'd like to say that I did an oopsie and made a mistake. So the Ares Battlefield has officially ended, however, I made a mistake. So if you take a look at the rewards, uh, Battle Zone ranking rewards, I thought this was based on your server. Now, someone did tell me in my comment section in my last video that it wasn't based on server, it's based on the entire game, so the entire AS server. However, I didn't see that until today, so I made a mistake in assuming this is based on my server reward. So as you can see, it's cross server rankings. So I got this reward over here. I was upset, I was pissed. They should have made it clearer. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just me not looking at this properly. But yeah, it's based on this. So I am quite upset that I did not bother and focused on this because I really wanted to rank all the way here Since this is based on the entire server i doubt i'll be able to rank between those two so right now i'm going to be aiming in the future to rank between 51 and 100 because yeah the rewards are really good now also based on this as well i didn't bother to go ahead i have only played this for like two days or three days and then i stopped playing it at all i don't know if this is going to refresh or whether this is going to be staying like this until we eventually reach the immortal king hopefully it does refresh even though i missed that 40 um, universal shards over here i still wanted to be able to refresh every single time the Ares battlefield does come so i am quite upset that um, i will not be able to get that much universal shards and i don't think this is going to be free to play friendly you know many people are not going to be able to rank within those t t top tier rankings you know actually they might be able to get over here but personally i'm aiming for them or there so i can get at least 15 every single time um so yeah i'm quite upset now if you take a look at the rankings you're gonna see some people were able to go all the way to 7k which is completely mad so let's see if i wanted to rank between like 50 what do i need to get uh, i'm pretty much assuming i'll be able to get to this in the future uh my server 5k yeah i don't like that fact you know i'm not gonna lie anyway let's go and do the proper showcase I'm a bit salty with that, but um, it's my fault, I guess. Anyway, let's take a look at Luna, and we can see um, if he's good. Firstly, we're going to take a look at his skills. Lens upgrade, I decided to get him to 5 stars just for the showcase, so, so definitely click the like button, because I did this all for you guys. Let's go to character, he's at level 200. I might get him further than that in the future, but for now, I think level 200 for every single character is fine. And the skin in the future, it will be getting the skin. Now, I'm kind of confused. Is this a girl or is this a guy? personally based on what i can see this is a guy but i think the game developers are looking at us like we seem like we all love waifu characters so they decided to change every male character that can pass off as being a little bit feminine and put them as female and put them the skin like this this is a b-tech joker skin in my opinion let's change this gear we're gonna do fast on equip now who has a good attack gear on currently i believe it's hersey hersey is a fantastic unit let's go to the equipment fast on equip go back there we go a uh, ur gear which i don't think actually yeah, this is pretty good ignores defense and crit rate increase which is nice um this basic one this is pretty good as well and then this as well so we're hopefully we're hoping for this guy to crit let's take a look at his skills so we can familiarize ourselves with it now it's passive if the total death of partner summons on a both party reaches five lunar energy will become one uh, this is when you get him to five stars but if you don't have a five star i believe the number of people dead should be like six or something like that so yeah but now that i haven't five stars reached only three people dead and it should be able to launch this guy into the team or into the battle uh what's this called deals a shockwave basically kamehameha um attack all enemies deal attack 335 percent which is pretty huge to the medium column and attacks 225 percent to the enemies alongside okay nice i'm expecting him to deal massive amount of damage so i'm hoping he is able to live up to the expectations i have 
damage to all enemy skill attacks yep oh, yep okay basic stuff let's take a look at lens upgrade uh four he gets an increase in his damage then changes the amount of required enemies dead and then a boost in damage as well pretty basic let's go and test them out a little bit now i did save up expedition for this guy let's go and okay let's do some quick raid um i've only been able to clear all the way to like world e like two weeks ago i didn't bother doing it until like recently now so i need to properly invest myself in this three people needs to die so i guess ashraya can be put up first so that i can just get all of that i'm gonna see how much damage he's able to do as well uh, the passives i have unlocked are only three so the damage he's going to be dealing is not going to be as high as possible and he's only level 300 so we'll see about that Firstly put a tank, I think I was working on her recently, I put a gear on her I think, so she should be good, there we go, Ashraya should be next, so that I can get that passive unlocked, healing will be cancelled which doesn't really matter, and then we're gonna do this, Rose Luna is nowhere to be seen, okay that's fine, we're gonna take that damage a little bit, okay they're all dead, yeah I didn't expect them to live that long, but we're gonna go with this, are we dead cool 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 who luna is nowhere to be seen and i want to make sure there's so many enemies that he's able to do a massive amount of nuke and i can't do that because i have too many attackers on hand i guess i'll go with this okay there he is okay nice we're gonna go like this beautiful beautiful kill them oh please don't do the attack don't do anything good let's see how much damage can he deal really he didn't kill Wait, wait, hold up, Luna. What are you doing? What are you doing? I gave you some good gear. I know you're at level 200, but still, I'm expecting some massive amount of damage. Even Hersey can deal more damage than you. What's going on? We're going to repeat this. I don't like that. To better do a showcase on him, I've already taken him over to the collapse stage 17 and 16. I've seen what type of damage he can deal. However, I didn't record that. So let's do a recording of it. Let's go into stage 17, 15. This is where I'm gonna be doing all my showcase now in the future, where we test out any AOE ability because there's a lot of spawning units here. So uh, the lineup here we got um, Luna. So I'm gonna test out his AOE, AOE ability here. Let's go. We got Luna first. However, I'm gonna wait for more units to spawn in a little bit. Uh, take a little bit of bashing. Um, they got the invisibility on and because I'm gonna die if nothing is done we're gonna do the AOE ability now okay test out the damage done which was 574k not bad in my opinion um, even though he wasn't able to kill them I think this stage was relatively hard in this stage typically you run a level 240 unit but because Luna is only level 200 it's quite hard for him to kill here okay because there's no other unit okay there, there she is now do I expect her to deal a massive amount of damage hell no um, I can tell if she kills now Nifit is no new car, so if she doesn't deal that much damage, it's understandable. But she wasn't able to kill, but um, she was able to damage them quite a bit. If we take a look at that, she was able to do 758k for a level 300 unit. But like I said, she's not there to deal damage. But because um, Luna and Nifir were able to do close to the same amount of damage, even though there's a huge gap in... Uh, um, what's it called level i still think luna is still a fantastic unit in terms of aoe and because there was not that many aoe attackers out there besides the sorcerer units i still think he's still a relatively strong attacker in the game there was kazumi who was the best road damage attacker there is going to be Hersey, which in my opinion is really good at killing one unit. So, and there's now Luna, who was able to do a massive amount of AoE ability. Now, do I expect him to nuke? Um, maybe. Maybe when I get him to level 300, he's going to be able to nuke. It was very helpful in Miracle Stage for me. Do I think he's a good unit? I think he is. He's not underwhelming. And because I went over to Expedition, even though he wasn't able to kill, that's just because of his level. The level of disadvantage was getting to him a little bit. If I wanted to compare him with all the other Battle Pass units we've got in, I would say he's probably the second best. First best being obviously Achishiki. Second best probably Luna. Third best would be Burval. And then so on and so forth. Maybe also what's her face. 
Elin was also good because she was able to stun but the damage wasn't good and we also have better light units out there so there's no other reason to use them. Maybe in the future I will use Luna but for now it's going to stay at level 200 until it's much more easier to get all our characters to level 300 and when I do it probably will be in my team unless there's other good units like drop into the game. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more content on Illusion Connect. Don't forget to click the post notification on so you get notified when I make a new video. It's been your boy AC Gamer and I'm out.